Earlier this morning, the biggest event in Ray Shadow Legends launched. It promised a legendary champion to the top player who scores the highest points, one person out of a hundred in each tournament group will win a legendary champion. In my category, I have Chris, you might have a Mountain King or a Martial Art or even a Royal Guard in your category. So the top player after playing for seven days yes this event is going to run for seven days it's not one two days event it's going to run for an entire seven days and the top player at the top there who gets the highest number of points will win that legendary champion or the epic one that is available now i promise to show you guys my um, tournament group when it finally launched and you can see right now i am in a group with some competitive champions or some competitive players i mean and they are not letting um, their foot go on the pedal they are matching it hard so it's the first day some players have a lot of champions saved up a lot of um, leveling up to do a lot of brews also saved up so it's understandable for them to end this amount of points i have not given my all right now i'm still going a little bit slower and slower and slower until finally when the last day that's when i'll do a final push now most players will see 22,000 and see 12,000 and immediately give up. I am not one of those players. I don't have any other more important things to focus my resources on in the game. Maybe besides the fragment fusion that is coming up, but I'm 100% confident that I don't need to save resources anymore for a fragment fusion. So that's why I'm going to push all my resources into this event to let these players know that they are not going to have it easy with me. Yes. I'm not giving up just yet. Now, if I wake up tomorrow morning and I see 50,000 there, 60,000, of course, I'm going to throw in the white flag and just say, yes, you guys did a good job at running me off. But I'm not going to do that yet because I feel like these players are still using their free resources. They've not started swiping their cards yet. When somebody swipes their card, you will know. They will triple your score. <laughs> so when that happens, I will give up. I don't know how your tournament group is, but no matter what it is, the rewards on the right are attainable in seven days even if you do 1000 today 2000 tomorrow you might be able to end all the rewards on the right because those ones are 100 percent possible even on the noob to pro that i have an epic books which is one of the main items we need the most on that noob to pro series i will be pushing for that epic book at least and get that one done so on my main account of course i'm already close to the uh, legendary skill tome and i will grab that one that would not be the end that would just be the beginning that's when i'll start pushing my other resources so i wanted to, you guys to see my brackets to also know that it's not a fair one well it's fair because it's not supposed to be easy i'm not supposed to be the one at the top i checked out the global rankings the leaderboard and i saw what's his name i think he's a youtuber too tyraku he pushed three of his accounts to number one i was like what is this dude doing that's his name sub to tyraku tyraku tv I'm like yo okay <laughs> you have two three accounts to push all the way to the top that's a lot of points right there so the global leaderboard does not have this um chris like we thought it would they put it in the normal leaderboard and that was that was awesome of raid normally they'll put the chris here and the other champions here but they gave us a chris so my account here is level i think i'm level 100 by now or 99 yeah, I'm 98, level 98, and I got put in the Krisk category. So I don't know how they grouped that maybe from level um, 90 to 100 got the Krisk and the other ones got the other legendary champions that are available. So let me quickly show you what I've been working on or my plan so far. I've done the two stars, I've done the three stars to four star, and I've done the four stars to five stars. I've used all my brews to make that happen. So right now I'm sitting on a bunch of five-star champions who are waiting to be given to a six-star worthy champion so if you check out my list right now you see one two three four five that's one six star one two three four five that's another six star one two three four and maybe one more that i'll do so that's three six stars waiting to go that will push me about 900 points in the tournament which is cl not even close to what those guys are pushing towards but hey so far i've been able to get here without doing one six star so the main place where you get um points the most is not in making champion six star 
in these tournaments. I know, I know that one pushes you a lot. It just gives you that big 300 and you see it. You think that's where it is. No. The main place where you get points the most is in two stars, in three stars, in four stars. So taking two stars to three, taking three stars to four. And I'm not, I'm not talking about just changing their levels from two stars to three. I'm talking about when you level them up. You know, it looks like one, one point, one point each. Yes, it is per level. But you're moving from level one to level eight. And that's a lot of points. So even taking five stars, giving some bruising to them or taking them through the campaign, that's where you get the, the most points that I found out. So I take all my four stars. I give them a little bit of points before I use them as food. Of course, you guys already know that. But in case you're wondering where you should be focusing on the most, I prefer to focus on getting brand new two stars to three, taking those three to four, and taking those four to five. That's what I've been doing. And that's why I've not touched a single um, five star to make them six yet. So in terms of champion that I think will be worthy of six stars, I'm confused on my account. I don't know what to do about that. I'm just going to pick any random champions that I think it's useful for me for the Hydra. Maybe, yes. Maybe it's time for us to start talking about that. Or maybe Doom Towers to still focus on Doom Tower champions. So I already brought out what's her name, Ugo. And I think Ugo will be a good option. And Royal Guard, I brought them out of the store i mean out of the vaults to make sure they will be among the champions that will be taken to six time in this series so i just wanted you guys to see my own bracket to see um what i've what i'm up against and what i plan to do about it i'm not just gonna give up and think those guys will just win that easy no because that's their plan they plan to push forward make you feel like they have all the money in the world while they don't they might have spent maybe what 10 bucks 20 bucks We'll see by the end of the week. And another thing is, no matter how much money you have to spend, you still have to sit there and do the work, right? So some players will not have the time in this week to actually sit and play the game. So that will set them aside, set them, set them back a little bit. So even the small time they have to come online and play, they push a little bit. Why, if you are available online and you're using all your resources to push throughout, you might be able to meet them up whenever they are offline so that's another thing you should think about it's not about money it's about having time to actually play the game because you have to take champions to the campaign and yes you might be able to do it on auto but sometimes the auto battles don't require human assistance you need to switch out champions and take champions to the next level before you can click auto again so using rsl helper of course so that's also something to consider. I'm hoping that maybe these players don't have as much time as I do in my entire 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. work hours that I have the entire time to have raid open on a second screen. So that's what I'm banking on. So maybe I will have that. Even at night, if I finish recording this video and I post it on YouTube, my system at home does not just shut down for the night. No, raid still stays on even till reset. Once reset happens, and then i get some things done before even the morning so that's my own what i plan to do beat them with time and beat them with my free resources about six thousand gems that i have saved up so far so that will be enough to give them a run for their money even if they are spending money so i wouldn't advise anybody to spend all their gems on this event like i said fragment fusion is coming up and i don't mind a fragment fusion because i feel it's gonna be easy nary the lucky remember this champion is totally worth it it's not one of those ones that you think you can just um, um skip because he's bad no he's not bad at all so there is a um, fragment there is a fusion preparation stuff going on right now which you can just do by opening some shards 20 shots, I think, and you get the fusion preparation one done on a daily. So I'm third position. I'll be pushing and I'll give you guys updates tomorrow from the new to pro and also show you how I'm doing on this one tomorrow. Um, let me know these brackets you're on, which champions you're up against. And I, I need to, I think I need to place a stern one into these guys because yes, I'm saying it on the, on the video right now that I'll be pushing for it. But if you're one of these guys on this list and you think this is going to be an easy fight, you don't know Bricks. I'll be pushing really hard to make sure that <laughs> I give them um, a, a good fight. So it's free to play. Going for Krisk. Although it's not a champion that I say 100% need that will change my account entirely. 
it's not like I'm going crazy about Krisk. I'm not one of those players who have had all the legendaries in the game and they just need one more, which is Krisk. No, I'm not there yet. I still have a lot to do, I mean, in terms of champions to get. So Krisk is just one of those ones. So if I can get it now for free with 6,000 gems, why not do it? So that's my mindset going into this. I'll gain the rewards that I get along the way. And even if at the end, they finally swipe their big cards and um and finally take a huge lead over me maybe in the last day i'll be like at least i put in a good fight so that's what it's all about putting in a good fight not giving up when you just see a little bit of resistance or competition let me know what you guys think about my <laughs> my um, insane attempt to beat wales and great Krisk as a totally free to play i'll see you guys in the next video good night <laughs>